Very recently, Jailbreak announced they'll stop doing monthly updates, and Mad City actually showed their respects to Jailbreak. For many years, both of these games have been clashing together, fighting for the top spot, and in the end, have they both lost? Mad City stopped doing updates four months back, but Jailbreak has still kept going until now. In the beginning of 2019 is when Mad City was launched. Everything in that game literally felt like Jailbreak, but bigger. The robberies were so nice. The roleplay in that game existed way more than Jailbreak. So many things were so perfect in that game that Jailbreak did not perfect. And the best part? We got weekly updates, which is something we've been asking Jailbreak to do. Mad City is the sole reason why Jailbreak has become such a massive game. Mad City is the sole reason why we have insane amount of robberies today. You would think that the update wars would keep clashing and going on for many years, but this is when Mad City lost their main developer, and after that, the game completely ended for a year and a half until they came back with Mad City Chapter 2. At this point, it was gonna look like that Mad City was genuinely going to take over. But then, they messed up, because they ended up redoing the whole game, making Mad City fans leave and never return. Because the game is unrecognizable. Jailbreak as well is pretty unrecognizable, but a lot of the structure is the exact same. The city is not recognizable, but the structure is very similar. A lot of the vehicles are not really recognizable, but they still kept all the OG vehicles, and did not bother revamping them. This lake is still the exact same from 7 years ago. This town still looks very familiar, especially the garage with the Tesla on top that's been there for the past 7 years. Whereas Mad City did the biggest mistake of their careers and redid the whole game, making everyone leave. Nostalgia is what we all live off of today, and redoing something we all loved will of course drive us away. A lot of us are at a point where we really just want nostalgia around us. A lot of us are also at the point where if something we love gets changed very quickly, we don't really accept the change until a few months later, or a few years later we will probably miss the old version of something that has been revamped. And well, after this, Mad City has tried super hard to update and try to keep their game alive, but in the end, the game just kept dying each other update to the point where they stopped updating completely. They ended up bringing some OG parts of Mad City back, but that never fixed the game. So many things about this game went completely wrong. Half of the development team has left the game, and if they want to update this game ever again, they'll have to do Chapter 3. And of course, nobody wants Chapter 3. Everybody wants the OG Mad City back, but it looks like the developers have given up on trying to do that. The smartest thing that the Jailbreak developers have done is make sure that Jailbreak came on top, and they've successfully done that by adding everything that Mad City has, but going above and beyond by having much better robberies than Mad City. The fact that back then we used to say that the map was much bigger and now Jailbreak's map is a gazillion times bigger is insane to me. Just a few years ago we were talking about how better Mad City was of a game than Jailbreak, and now it's the other way around. Now that Jailbreak has stopped updating and will stop updating after their live event on April, and now that Mad City has also stopped updating potentially forever, and the only way for Mad City to come back and recover and actually try to update is to actually redo the game, which I don't think they will do that. Have both games truly fallen off? Have both games lost to each other? I want to know what you think in the comments, because if we hit 1000 likes, I have something very special planned for both of these games. But even the more important question, which of these prison games even won the update war? The sole purpose of Mad City being released to the public was to of course compete with Jailbreak, but now they've given up completely. And the sole purpose of Jailbreak competing with Mad City and even giving them attention is to make sure they come out on top no matter what happens. The Jailbreak developers actually take the day off on Sundays, but they even stop taking days off just to compete. At one point in 2018 of Jailbreak, Asimo said they will never add planes, but because of Mad City, they ended up adding planes. They also said they'll never add a plane robbery. They ended up adding one. They also said that we will never get tanks, and now we got tanks. There's so many things that Jailbreak said they'll never add, but because of Mad City, they were almost forced to add. But the issue with Jailbreak doing weekly updates back then and updating the game constantly and giving us things that we already asked for is that now they don't have anything to add in the game. Jailbreak is basically a complete game with of course a lot more potential but what else can they add to the game? What Mad City did successfully is make the game at least stop updating to the point where they don't really have anything else to add. I guess in a way Mad City won in some ways but not really. But really I ask you, 
which of these prison games really won? If you want my honest opinion, I'd say both games won in their own ways. Man City worked very hard to come out on top and they came out on top once and then they failed the second time. Jailbreak came out on top and they are still on top, but now they will stop updating because Man City, of course, had to force them to update, but now they don't have anything else to add. What else can they really do with Jailbreak? No matter how you look at both games, whether you hate Jailbreak or whether you hate Jailbreak, whether you hate Mad City, whether you hate Jailbreak, whether you like one game and you hate the other or you just hate both games, these two Roblox games have worked very hard on the platform and these two Roblox games are probably the most influential Roblox games on the platform and the only type of developers to work so hard. Jailbreak has worked hard for the past 7 years providing us live events, massive updates, map revamps, map expansions, and so many other things that a lot of developers on the Roblox platform would not even do. A lot of the updates that Jailbreak even did did not even require you to pay Robux or anything. The Jailbreak developers simply cared about their community. And so did the Mad City developers because they even cared to do chapter 2 and redo the entire game, which they did not have to once again. In my eyes, both of these games have won. They both have come to an end, and honestly, I don't mind. They have both come to an end because they have both decided to come to an end. Mad City actually showed their respect to Jailbreak, whereas Jailbreak, I mean, maybe they don't really care about what Mad City has said, but at least Mad City does respect Jailbreak. And of course, why would they not? But here's a very fun fact. When Jailbreak did their 2020 live event, Mad City also came back doing a live event two months later. When Jailbreak did their 2022 live event, Mad City came back and did their live event four months later with Chapter 2. So now that Jailbreak is doing a live event and the CMO is literally saying that this is going to be one of the best live events that he has probably worked on ever, will Mad City come back to try and compete for that? Will Mad City work on another live event as well? Honestly, I really see it happening because Mad City is like always on top with these things. Whenever Jailbreak does something huge, Mad City tries to compete and do much better. So there is a possibility that Mad City could come back just to clash for the live event. And if this was to happen, which one of them do you think would win? Here's something I will say. Mad City has a chance. If the Mad City developers really care, then they can come back right now. Jailbreak will stop updating as soon as their live event is over. And well, if Mad City truly wants to, they could also come back and start doing updates. Will this revive Mad City? It depends. If Mad City brings back the OG Mad City, which is chapter 1, then yes, they probably will come back and they probably can come back. And let's say that by some sort of miracle, Mad City does come back. I don't know, maybe this could actually make Jailbreak come back as well. So the only way to see Jailbreak actually start updating again monthly is for Mad City to take action and try to compete and take advantage of the fact that Jailbreak will stop updating monthly. Will this happen? It depends on the Mad City developers. But I just want to say thank you Mad City for making what Jailbreak has become today because without Mad City, I don't know where Jailbreak would be seven years later. Just imagine where Jailbreak would be without Mad City. Probably wouldn't be as big of a game as it is today. And without Jailbreak, Roblox would not be the platform that it is today. Both of these games have done a lot for each other and we just have to respect both games whether we like one game or the other. They've both worked very hard on the platform and are some of the most hardworking developers on the platform. And while it is sad that both games have come to an end, at least they'll still exist on the platform to revisit.